Hey folks, well, yep, my trip to Chicago is over. I am back home despite seeing the kids and the grandkids and the family. I gotta be honest, I am happy to be home. Nothing like being home, sleeping in your own bed. If you've ever been on a vacation, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So we've got some chores to do today, uh, but more importantly, uh, we've got to go pick up the trailer because uh, we're taking the hogs to the butcher tomorrow. Hi, Tasanka. And that woman right there, that's an all-star right there for you. She did phenomenal here on the homestead by herself and got to give her credit because, <laughs> boy, I had my doubts. <laughs> <laughs> I did not have any doubts. <laughs> so we've got a little bit of feed here for the pigs, but today will be the last day that they actually feed. We're not going to feed them tomorrow. So I need to get them in the trailer and then uh, I want their stomachs empty as much as possible. We're gonna go ahead and get these pigs fed. If I can get the bag opened up. All right, let's feed these piggies. All right, so now that the pigs are fed, the next step today is we've gotta check the water level of our batteries on our solar. Try to check these batteries once every couple of months. Uh, when we first got them, you know, the plan was to uh, check them every month. Unfortunately, we had them outside during that winter and we weren't able to do that. But since they've been in the GPS here, it's been much easier because they're right here. And checking the water is pretty simple. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and fill up one of our jugs here. And then we're gonna go ahead and just top off all of these batteries. Uh, the maintenance on these batteries takes me about 30 to 40 minutes depending on how low they are. Uh, since they are really broken in, uh, they don't really consume too much water, but uh, be that as it may, we need to check them anyway. So, all right, let's get this done. Okay, well, that is it. About a gallon and a half, a little less than a gallon and a half of DI water. So they're all filled up. And now what we'll do is in a day or two, uh, I'll come back out here and I'll use my hydrometer here and I'll check the charge once these are in float, make sure everything looks uh, kosher. And if it doesn't, then we'll have to try to figure out what's going on with the system. Um, but uh, we haven't had any issues so far, knock on wood. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up in here and go hit another project. Sue found himself a snake. And the snake, oh, there he is. Zip on the top. Sue, come on. Okay, we're good. We're done, baby. Well, after a long seven or eight months with these pigs, uh, it is time to take the hogs here to the butcher today. Now, this is part of homesteading that Jen and I have no experience with other than our last pig. Uh, and I think from our perspective, 
uh, being new to this lifestyle, this is one of those things where we just have to keep doing it uh, and we'll get more comfortable with it every time. So today's plan is to <coughs> open up the front door here or the front portion of their pen, get them in the smaller side. Uh, we're going to kind of cordon off uh, the area around the back of the trailer and push them inside. Check on our pigs. See how they're doing today. Hey, pigs. Oh boy, they are like getting into everything. I'm glad to see they're getting a little further. Success, piece of cake, piece of cake, works flawlessly, yeah, I'm excited, the hard part's done, <laughs> alright, so we're going to let them eat, uh, we're going to finish our morning chores, and we got to head down to the butcher, well, we got the piggies back there, back in the trailer and uh, we are heading over to our butcher now the butcher we use is swans custom meats uh, here in Springfield uh, we're still about a half hour away from him uh, guy's name is Bruce and the guy is just phenomenal uh, you know when we first started this journey uh, we had knew nothing about uh, butchering butchering and things like that and uh, meat cuts and all that stuff other than what we knew from buying it in the store. Uh, Bruce was patient with us. 
He walked through everything with us, the whole process, all the steps. I mean, it was really phenomenal uh, what the guy did, you know, in terms of taking his time and, and walking through it with us. So, yeah, so I mean, as far as we're concerned, he's our butcher for life. <laughs> uh, so we've got, so Jen is uh, finishing up. She's grabbing us a few drinks. And then uh, we're gonna hit the road and, and keep going. And uh, we'll see you in just a minute when we get down to uh, Swans. Folks, so we have made it to uh, Bruce's shop. This is the Swans Custom Meat. And uh, so we're not gonna show the deed, but uh, this is basically where we're at. They're gonna bring them in here to the chute. They're gonna dispatch them. <laughs> Uh, and then they've got their hangers right here, and then they'll start processing. Um, by that time, we'll be long gone, but we definitely wanted to show you guys, you know, kind of um, what we do as far as our hogs are concerned. Um, yeah, so you know what? If you're in the area, Bruce is fantastic. Uh, and I'll leave the information uh, for Bruce's shop here in the description below. So, well, we're going to let Bruce do his thing. We're going to get our hogs out, and we'll see you in a minute. All right, so we are back here on the ranch and uh, the pigs are gone. Uh, however, we still have, I don't know if you can see them right there. Still got a snake here. See him in there? Yeah. We have a lot of snakes uh, hanging out underneath the pig pen here. Matter of fact, I think they denned there. Um, anyways, so yeah, so now that the pigs are gone, uh, what we've got to do is we're going to leave the pen alone. We're going to leave the fence up. Uh, we're going to kind of let the pen here dry up. Um, we will probably end up leaving the fence up through winter uh, and then come springtime, uh, we'll come in here, we'll pull the fence down. I, I don't know yet. Uh, but it's going to take some time for this ground to recover. Um, and honestly, I just don't want the, you know, we, we don't want the dogs getting in here because this is a mess. So, so yeah, so we're, that's going to sit for a while. It's going to stink for a while, which is fine. Um, oh, since we're here, the, uh, we put up this uh, clothesline. Uh, oh, I don't know, not too long ago, and it's working great. So, all right, well, that's going to do it for right now. I am going to go inside where Jen is making an amazing lunch for us, uh, and then we're tearing this puppy down. 